Okay, hope you're doing well. Uh, it is uh, first part of May. It is beautiful weather. I am going to jump into this big honey production hive. A lot of bee numbers on this thing. Uh, I'm hoping to just get in here and see how they're producing. I added some space last time. Saw the queen. She's marked. We might see her. But uh, hey, they've been stacking a lot of nectar and making some honey. So let's just check on them. All right, All right stay well, with me. They have the top of this propolized down so hard. It is not even funny. Look at this. Uh, pretty interesting to see them stick it down that hard right here on the top box. So uh, I can't wait to see what's going on here. But this is just a honey super I added this last week just for some extra insurance to make sure I was watching them closely. And they are sticking it down. Sorry for the bad angle. We got good. Good bees here. All right, they're bringing up their bees on this top area. Just to take a quick glance at them. And there, I did pull a frame or two up to encourage them. So they're starting to bring up and work on some of this and I can see them packing some nectar. So that's a good thing. And that is the very top box. This is the next honey super. You got honey on this one, this one, and this one. And they're starting to a little bit on this one right here. So they're starting to fill that yeah. out. This is where the honey, I mean, I should say honey excluder. Some people call it that. Uh, David Burns calls it that. Man, this thing is propolized down. Wow. Look at this thick propolis they have stuck this down with. It's just incredible all the way around. That is insane. Uh, I'm going to put this here just because it's in reverse of how I put it back. But look at the bees up top here. Three boxes down. All right, girls. I don't want to mess with you too much. I really want to see how this box I inserted is doing. I'm looking down through this box here, and it is absolutely packed. It is packed. Wow. Packed with bees all the way across. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this box off. Gosh. Look at the bees all down in here. They have got this packed with honey. Absolutely packed. And that is a deep box. There might be some emerging brood at the bottom. Here is what I inserted last week uh, to give them some space. And just not have them so bound. And it is looking good. Okay, well, I pulled one of these frames. I just put it in here last week. Look, they are drawing this out like crazy. Starting to work on this side as well. Uh, it's a little bit lighter on the outside, as you would imagine. But uh, what I'm going to do is try to checkerboard these just a touch. Starting to build it. Look at all that right here. Well, you're packing it already. I'll tell you what, I'm seeing that happening. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with that frame. They are really bringing it in. And this middle, it is packed already. This has been here a week. They have drawn it completely out, filled it with nectar all the way across. Look at all this beautiful packing it. That's what we want right there. Okay, tell you what I am going to do on this one. I probably will move one that's not as full. Cool. To this spot and checkerboard it just a little bit move this one that is a little bit more full out to the outside okay all right and then look, look in the middle here goodness goodness gracious look at this wow okay and that is solid honey solid just packed all the way across just gorgeous Move this one over that doesn't have anything. Okay. Let's check the board them a little bit more. Alright, as part of that whole checkerboarding exercise, it helps encourage them to move up and fill in where there's empty space. Here's another one. Look at all this. It's just solid. One week packing honey. Tell you what I may end up doing if this is working. 
I may insert another honey super. Well, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. There's bees all the way out to here just absolutely packing this. I was hoping it would give them some space actually to, to lay, but uh, they're just filling it with honey, which is fine with me too. Uh, because I did give them some space down in the brood box. Packing it solid. That is gorgeous. Look at all the honey. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to leave this like that. Pop this box off. And just take a glance. Make sure we don't see anything crazy oh, going on in the bottom box. Well, I'll take a look at this bottom box uh, before I hit them with it. A lot of bees, beautiful. And uh, looking down through here, it is just absolutely packed. Wow, looking pretty. I uh, got a little bit of room right here in the middle, but uh, I mean, if you just look at what they're packing in here, at some point I'm probably going to have to move some of these frames up, give them a little bit more space. Wow, that one's so heavy. I know this one's full of, just absolutely full. I don't even know if I can get down out there on my finger. Plop it. Plus, okay, here we go. Gotta use your tools. That's tight. Okay, look at all this honey. Nectar just packed down in here. Yeah, it's probably smart for me to take another deep and start moving some of this up possibly i'm going to set this out for just a minute what a beautiful little hive colony all right all right girls everybody be patient with me okay let's just check a frame or two and make sure it looks good but look at the bee numbers in here just really pleased with it all right so this one's got some room I think I inserted this one they already got it. merging brood there's a cell right there that's interesting that's a super seeder cell hmm. well you know I've had this queen for about a year and if they supersede her I'll deal with it there's another one that's a super seeder cell uh, beautiful I hate to lose this one may actually put these this one over into a different hive and let those hatch let me think about that okay well I'm gonna take this frame that has these queen cells on it all this brood and these queen cells and I am gonna move them make sure I don't see a queen on here anywhere I do not see her make sure no nope, I do not okay I'm gonna take this I am going to move them into this little two frame those hatch we'll see if we got enough bees I may need to shake a few more bees. I'm gonna take these drop a few more bees in there this is brood I made sure the queen was not on there ton of emerging brood look at all the brood that this bee this little uh, queen is producing here just a ton Propolis is insane. Okay, just a ton of brood. Uh, here's another frame. A lot of brood. I can actually see some larvae all down in here. This queen's in here. Uh, she's she's done a, always does a great job. Just a real producer. Uh, now we can take those cells that were over there. Hopefully, hatch them. She's been a great little queen. And uh, I hear people say they requeen every year, but I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure I'm buying into that exactly. But 
I'm still thinking about it. All right, just a lot of nectar pouring into this one. Some crazy frame there. Uh, these are a little worked up because I aggravated them a little. I don't blame them. Right. Look at this. Just bees everywhere. I don't see her right off, but I see a lot of larvae all down in the in the middle here. She, she's been here in the last little while. Last two or three days. Okay, well look at this frame. It is almost all hunting capped over. Got a little bit of brood right in the middle. They are quickly surrounding this frame as fast as they'll move out. They'll pack it full of full of nectar. There's some dark nectar going in here. Might be some tulip popper. I'm mixing in. But, uh, all right, the rest of those are honey frames right there. I'm gonna leave them alone for now and straighten this back up. Get my box out of whack. Okay, I got this honey super back on. They're really filling it up. This one, I'm gonna put right back. That is so full of honey. It is really packed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this queen excluder and just move it to a different area. I'm going to take this one and let them continue to just move up. Oh, that box didn't like that. Like this white one right here stick it straight on top of here so they don't feel like they don't have any room if they fill those two boxes i want them coming straight up here and then i'm gonna do the same with this one i'm just gonna take this one and stack it up here it doesn't hurt and if the queen for some reason wants to come all the way up there to lay i am going to let her I'm going to take this queen excluder and just leave it up here because I don't have anything else to do with it. And uh, keep her from coming out the top at least. Put this lid on. Alright girls. Watch out. Alright, well I didn't see this queen, but we had a good visit in here. There is a ton of honey being stacked up into this right now. Nectar, but as soon as they cap it over, it's honey. So, they're working on it. I'm trying to figure out. I may try to slowly start pulling off some frames and uh, moving it you know out of this box there's so much of it but uh, hey I'm just thinking it over uh, while the flow's going gonna leave it like this and give them plenty of space to move wherever they want to okay if you like subscribe God bless